This video has one simple but important goal. I want to make this the best Binance tutorial on YouTube. Whether you're completely new to crypto or just need a clear step-by-step -step guide, I've got you covered. I'll walk you through everything. How to sign up correctly, how to pass verification quickly, should you buy crypto with a credit card or a bank transfer, and how to find the right cryptocurrencies and make your first trade on Binance. So sit back, relax, maybe grab a coffee and let's jump right in. The first step is, of course, creating a Binance account. Instead of manually going to Binance.com, you can simply click the link in the description of this video. By using that link, you'll get a 10% discount on trading fees, which is a nice bonus when starting out. This will take you to this sign up page. Now, unlike signing up for something like Google or Instagram, Binance has a slightly more detailed process. That's because you'll need to complete identity verification, a standard requirement for all regulated crypto exchanges. While it may take a few extra minutes, this step is a crucial for keeping the platform secure and ensuring your account is protected. Here you have a few options for creating your account. You can sign up using your email, phone number, Google or Apple ID. It doesn't really matter which method you use, so just go with whatever works best for you. Personally, I prefer using my own email address as it gives me full control over my account. Then check this box and then click next. Now you'll need to verify your email. So go to the inbox of the email you used to sign up and you should see a verification email from Binance. Open that email and find the activation code inside. Simply copy the code, then go back to Binance and paste it. Once you've done it, your email is verified and you're ready for the next step. Now it's time to create your password. Your password must be at least 8 characters long and include at least one number and one uppercase letter. Make sure to follow these rules to create a strong and secure password. Once you've done that, click next to continue. If you didn't click the link in the description to sign up, don't worry. You can still enter the referral code manually at this step you'll see a field labeled referral ID and here you'll want to type in this code. It's also displayed on the screen and in the description. By using this code, you'll get a 10% discount on all trading fees. At the same time, you'll be supporting the channel, which helps me to create more helpful content for you. Once you enter the code, just click submit and after that, next to continue. After that, you will get this notification, which shows you that you entered my referral ID successfully. Now it's time for the verification process. First, you'll need to select your country from the list. Simply type it in the search bar and select the correct option. Next, you'll see a few steps needed to verify your account, which should take a few minutes. Here is what you'll need. First, personal information, basic details like your name and date of birth. Then, a government-issued ID, you can use a passport, national ID card or driver's license. Also, a quick face verification, Binance will ask you to take a short selfie and move your head slightly, similar to setting up Face ID on an iPhone. And a proof of address. This can be a utility bill, bank statement or any official government document that shows your address. Once you have everything ready, click continue to start the process. First, you need to select your nationality from the list. Then enter your first name, last name and date of birth exactly as they appear on your official documents. This ensures a smooth verification process. Next up, it's time for the identity verification. You'll be redirected to another website to complete this step. Here you'll need to show your ID card and take a selfie for face verification. You also have the option to complete this step using your mobile phone, which is what I personally recommend. It's much easier to scan your face and show your ID using the phone. However, you can also choose to complete the verification or your computer if you prefer. For now, let's select I want to complete via mobile phone to move forward. Now, all you need to do is scan this QR code in the Binance app. After that, follow the step-by-step -step guide in the Binance app. Since I have already completed this process, I can't show it again, but if you have any question, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Once you have followed all the steps in the app, your identity verification will be under review and it usually takes about 5 minutes to complete. You now have your Binance account set up and ready to go. To double check that you are verified, simply click on the profile button on the top and it should say verified next to your account info. 
As I mentioned, the verification process is usually quick, but I have heard that it can sometimes take a little longer. If you run into any issues, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll do my best to assist you. Now, this is how the home screen should look once you're logged in. If you're not on this screen, just click the Binance logo on the top and it will take you to this page. Alright, so the very first question you might be asking is of course, how do I buy my first crypto? The fastest and easiest way to do this is by using a credit card. To get started, click on the Buy Crypto button. Next, you'll need to enter how much you want to buy and which cryptocurrency you want to purchase. For example, let's say you want to spend 100 euros. The minimum amount is 10 euros, but let's stick with 100 euros. You can choose the currency you want to spend from the drop down menu, but we'll keep it in euro. Then also select the cryptocurrency you want to receive and let's choose Bitcoin, BTC. You could also choose USDC, a stablecoin pegged to a dollar, which can be used to buy other cryptos. As you can see, here it shows you how much Bitcoin you can buy for a certain amount on euros or dollars, depending on whatever you put there. Next, choose your payment method. You can either use a Visa or Mastercard or even a Google Pay or Apple Pay. Let's go with the card and click confirm. Then simply press add new card, enter your card details, same like you would do some online purchase. It's important to make sure the name on the card matches the name on your Binance account. Also double check that the address is correct. When you are ready, just press confirm. Using a credit card is fast, usually taking just a few minutes to an hour. However, credit card payments often come with higher fees compared to other methods. Another thing to keep in mind is that many credit cards have limits on the amount you can spend, so if you're looking to buy larger amounts, this method may not be the best. However, Binance often runs promotions where they waive the fees for the credit card payments. Another method to buy crypto is bank transfer and the great thing about this method is that the fees are significantly lower compared to using a credit card, especially if you're making a bigger deposit. To get started, go to deposit tab. First, you need to select the currency you want to use. If you're in Europe, you will typically use Euro. Here you want to go to deposit Euro and now you'll choose SEPA bank transfer. As you can see, fee is extremely low and the estimated processing time is 0 to 2 business days. This means that while this method takes a bit longer than a credit card payment, it is highly recommended if you plan to deposit a larger amounts. If you're outside of Europe, your available bank transfer options may differ and processing times might be longer. Once you proceed, you will receive the, all the necessary details to complete the transfer. Account name, IBAN number, BYC SWIFT code, bank name and ad address. The next step is to log in to your online banking platform, choose the option for a bank transfer and enter all the details provided by Binance. It is crucial to carefully enter all the informations and double check it before confirming the transaction. Also, make sure that your bank account name matches the name registered on your Binance account. So you will just press continue and keep in mind that SWIFT transfers are not supported, so if you're in Europe, be sure to use SEPA transfer instead. Once your funds arrive in your Binance account, usually within a few business days, you will receive an email and a notification and you will be ready to start trading. The Binance Spot Wallet is where all your crypto assets are stored when you buy, sell or trade on the spot market. When you deposit euros or any other fiat currency via bank transfer or credit payment, the funds will appear in your spot wallet. If you then use that balance to buy crypto, the purchased assets will also be stored in your spot wallet. This wallet serves as the main storage for both your fiat and crypto funds, whether you're depositing, buying or trading. The easiest way to trade crypto on Binance is through the convert and block trade feature. To access this, navigate to the trade button at the top and select convert from the drop down menu. This method allows to quickly swap one currency for another without dealing with complex trading charts. If you have fiat currency, for example euros in your account and want to convert it into crypto, follow these steps. First in the convert section select the currency you want to convert, for example euro. Enter the amount you want to convert. Then choose the cryptocurrency you want to receive, for example Bitcoin, Ethereum or another crypto of your choice. Then click preview conversion. 
Binance will show you the estimated amount of crypto you will receive. Since crypto prices fluctuate, you may have a few seconds to confirm the conversion before the price updates. Press convert to finalize the trade. To verify that the conversion was successful, go to your spot wallet and check your balance. You can also use Binance Convert to swap one cryptocurrency for another. Here is how. Select the crypto you want to confirm, for example I chose Bitcoin and then enter the amount you want to convert. Then choose cryptocurrency you want to receive, for example I chose Ethereum. Click Preview Conversion and confirm the trade within the given time frame. Once the trade is completed, you can also check your spot wallet to see the new cryptocurrency balance. Spot trading on Binance allows you to buy and sell cryptocurrencies in real time at market prices. Unlike Binance Convert which offers a simple swap function, spot trading gives you more control over your trades, allowing you to set a specific prices and use different order types. To start spot trading, go to trade in the top menu and select spot. You will see trading interface which includes a price chart, order books and buy and sell options. Choose the trading pair, for example Bitcoin USDC from the search bar. There are three main types of spot trading orders. First, market order which instantly buys and sells crypto at the current market price. Second, limit orders which allows you to set a price at which you want to buy or sell. The trade executes only when the market reaches your price. And the third is stop limit order, a conditional order that triggers a limit order when a certain price is reached, useful for risk management. To execute a trade, select your order type. You can select market, limit or stop limit options. Enter the amount of crypto you want to buy or sell and then click to buy or sell to confirm the trade. After placing a trade, you can track its status in its open order section. Once completed, your funds will be available in your spot wallet, which you can check under the wallet tab. Spot trading is ideal for users who want more flexibility and control over their trades compared to instant conversions. However, it requires understanding price movements and order execution strategies. To withdraw your fiat money, for example euros after selling cryptocurrencies on Binance to your bank account, first go to wallet, fiat and spot to see your available balance. Then click on Withdraw, find Euro in your balance and select it. Here you go to Withdraw Fiat. Next, choose your withdrawal method such as SEPA bank transfer for European users which typically has low fees and takes 1-2 to two business days or a swift transfer depending on your country. Enter your bank details ensuring the name on your bank account matches your Binance account. After confirming everything, click to complete the withdrawal. You'll receive an email and Binance notification once the funds are sent. For the best experience, if you're in Europe, SEPA transfers are usually the fastest and most cost-effective options. The last thing I want to show you is a feature called Binance Earn. Binance Earn allows you to grow your crypto holdings passively, similar to earning interest in a savings account. Instead of just holding your crypto in a wallet, you can stake, lend or invest it to earn rewards over time. To access Binance Earn, go to Earn in a Binance menu, we have several options available, but let's focus on Simple Earn. You can deposit various cryptocurrencies and trade passive income over time. Let me quickly show you how it works. First, here it shows you the cryptocurrencies you can earn your passive income on, and then you have flexible and locked saving. You would like probably flexible, because you can withdraw these cryptocurrencies wherever you want. For example, let's take Vana for example, and then it shows you how many Vana I have in my spot wallet. I want to go max, and then I want to confirm. Now subscription is successful, and the real APR rewards will start accumulating in your earn wallet every minute. In order to access your earnings, just go to your earn wallet, and if you ever want to stop earning rewards, whether to sell or use crypto, you can simply redeem it back to your spot wallet. Thanks for following along with this Binance tutorial. You have now learned how to sign up, verify your account, buy your first crypto and even start trading as well as using some features like Binance Earn. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. If you have any questions or run into any issues along the way, drop a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And remember, if you want to save on trading fees, 
Don't forget to use the referral link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.